So I'm moving back to the Berkshires, up from Miami, Florida, and I had come up and found a short-term place to rent while I looked for something longer. I thought three or four months would be plenty of time to find something. No luck. I'm seeing all sorts of places, talking to all sorts of realtors. They're damp, they're dark, they're too far from where I want them to be. Um, nothing felt quite right. And every part of my brain was totally panicking, like watching this ticking down of how many days I had left in my right. short-term rental right. until I had to have something new. Um, and my brain saying, just pick something, Carly. Like, yeah. just, just figure it just out. Choose. Just, just, just choose. Just choose. Just choose. And I'm over it. I'm over the limbo of right. this transition, and I want just a concrete place to be. But my heart and my experience has taught me that if I would dare to pause, catch my breath, that the right thing will present itself. Even if that means it's not going to come in the timeline that I wanted. Okay. Even if it meant I had to move into another short-term place, which I didn't want to do. I didn't want to have to pack up and then pack up again. Um, but I, but I know that if I would be willing to do that, then the right place will eventually, you know, reveal itself. And it, it made me feel a little abnormal, especially when I talk to other people about it too, because they're all wondering how I'm doing. So they want the update on the move. And I'm saying, nope, haven't found the right place yet. Right. <laughs> and I'm consistently, nope, hasn't shown itself yet. I'm still looking, hasn't shown itself yet. Right. Um, and so it was this daring to pause. I love that phrase. I love that because the daring in there is so multi-layered. It's I dare to um, treat my my vision with respect. I'm not just going to rush into somebody else's vision of what I should be doing right now. Um, I dare to give myself the quiet to figure out what's really real or healthy or, or helpful for me. Um, and I dare to experience the anxiety Right? I mean, one of the reasons we rush into choosing in times of transition is because it's, there's so much anxiety. We just want to get through that. Like, who wants to feel that? Right. Right. But I dare to feel the feelings and breathe into them anyway, right? To go mm -hmm. back to our conversation from our last yes. um, talk. You know, this, and I dare to feel what I feel and take space anyway and, and treat, treat my desire with respect, mm -hmm. right? With the mm -hmm. kind of respect that that we would want other people to treat it with. You know, no, I'm not going to just choose a one house because it's right there. It's not the right home, right? Yeah. I remember a number of years ago when I went through a divorce, the, the social pressure that I was feeling f from a number of people to, you know, when are you going to date again? Who are you dating? Mm -hmm. You know, have you, have you gone on Match.com yet? You know, <laughs> all this pressure. And I, I knew I really needed to pause. And the, the pause took two years and I, I had no idea that it would last that long <laughs> but that's how long it felt for it to to really feel organically right for me mm -hmm. to enter back into that world and in the pausing we give ourselves the chance not only to find the thing that we think we're looking for but also for the universe to sort of speak back and say hey there, there are these all these other options as well right we open to possibility exactly. you know, we, and we've talked about that before just the the idea of knowing it was possible that the right thing was out there. Because right. I wasn't going to go from, oh my gosh, I'm not, I've been to three or four houses this week and none of them were a match to um, everything's bright and cheery and perfect and I'm right. sure the great, the next place I see is going to be the one. That was always the hope. But there was this, this, this awareness that it's possible the next place I see will be the one. Um, and so just it, 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 it created an openness um, and also an opportunity for me to have a little faith in myself. That I'm right. going to make the best decision with what I've got where I am. That I've got my own back. And I might not always make the perfect decision, but I'm going to make the best decision. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to hold out, and I'll know. And I'll know when it's the, it's time to make the next step forward. That I, I love it. I just want to pull out what you just said there, that pausing creates the space for the, that tiny sense of hope that the universe or the world will meet us in some way. Or that we'll find the resources within us to choose wisely anyway. Right? E even if the right house didn't appear, some other notion of how to live the life that you want to live right now will appear, will become clear, right? Yes. Um, so that sense of, uh, you know, it's, it, um, it's occurring to me that embedded in that pause is also a, a little bit of faith, a little bit of faith that the right thing will become known over time. Mm -hmm. right? Which takes courage. <laughs> Let's be real about that. So <laughs> Faith takes courage. It's um, not always the yeah. the most comfortable thing to sit in, but it's kind of what you spoke to earlier, that ability to acknowledge the discomfort right. and be there anyway. 
right? And Honestly, you can trust. I'm God probably if I if I were a woman to get a tattoo, I would I would have courage tattooed, you know, the <laughs> length of my arm because it, more and more it's clear to me that that this creation of a life, especially during times of transition, that is rich and full and meaningful and a little bit happier and a little bit more easeful is requires bravery. It absolutely requires bravery, and that's a conversation that we'll have at length um, when we do our program together in yes. June at Kripalu. Um But maybe before you close, we close, just a little bit more about, I, as a coach, once you've taken the pause, what does that, or what, what is the next step, or where does that lead you mm. from so, a coaching perspective? It's a great question. So that the initial step is to, to dare to take that pause. It's, a, it's an opportunity to stop reacting. To stop reacting to to nestle back into what feels true to you um, so that's what we do is we pause we get clear so whether that's taking a moment to do some meditation just do a breathing exercise go for a walk play basketball journal do your thing that brings you back to center um, and then from there we begin to outline the smallest possible action steps so when in a process of transformation we need to make molehills out of mountains that's what we need to do is we need to start to break down things that feel really big like a move across the country into, well, what's the first smallest step to get me there? Well, I'm gonna need a moving company. Okay, well then today I'm gonna to spend 30 minutes on Google finding the best moving company for me. Right? And then tomorrow I'll deal with the next step. So it's making these small, very doable action steps that lead us lean in the direction that we wanna go. That connects beautifully to some research by Teresa Mabale at Harvard, who talks about in the business environment that progress toward meaningful goals, small progress daily, on a daily basis toward meaningful goals, is actually what keeps teams engaged in their work, mm -hmm. right? Even if the work itself in the moment is not the most enlivening. Um, so true in life, right? Yeah. Small progress to our goals leads us to that place where we feel that kind of faith in ourselves and faith in the world lining up even when the thing that we most want isn't right in front of us right right yay yeah this oh is my great God. so i would i would be really curious to hear as okay. people watch this video what um what might happen if you dared to pause what might be different if you're in a tricky situation or you're going through some type of transition or transformation what might be a little bit different if you gave yourself um permission to feel it and then to breathe with it for a moment before you took the next step be really curious to hear. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go find a tattoo parlor who will make, her, make me an arm sleeve of courage. <laughs> Have a wonderful day everybody. We'll see you soon.